It is yet again another cloudy day in Amsterdam, but it is not as cold, so that's a very positive thing. Mm -hmm. But um, today is another day that we also have something planned for the first time in quite a while, actually, but we've had two things planned two days in a row. We're going to see the Van Gogh Museum. I'm really excited. That'll be interesting. Learn more. Hopefully we'll learn more about his life, too. Yeah. But again, we had to buy tickets in advance, so pretty much everything seems like in Amsterdam. You gotta buy tickets in advance to things. It's just a very touristy city. There's nothing wrong with that. Just a lot of great things to go see, so you have to get tickets in advance or else you won't get to go see it. We saw tons of people at the Anne Frank house yesterday who tried to walk up and... Turned away yeah. because they didn't have a ticket. And they only do like online tickets there, but... Yeah. So yeah, so we're on our way to the Van Gogh Museum. Uh, we're just waiting for our tram as always. It'll be about a 30 minute ride into town and then we'll go see the museum. See that, and that's what I was kind of thinking too. Like that kind of thing. So we made it to the museum and we're going up the stairs to the first exhibit. It says that photography is only allowed in designated areas, so we're gonna have to see what we can actually film, but. So we're learning a lot more about Van Gogh's style. I'd always just imagine kind of like his crazy colorful, uh, you know, classic style, like his uh, self-portraits and whatnot. But there's so much more like his pencil drawings and his Japanese style art. I had never seen any of that before. So that's really interesting to learn um, that he had such an array and was not afraid to go through all kinds of different types of styles of painting and art. So I'm really enjoying this so far. So in this museum, you go through multiple levels and each level corresponds with a certain time of his life and each different like period of his life, he has like different styles of art that he does. So we've kind of worked our way up uh, through his life and it starts at the beginning down below and then through his, the end of his life up top. And so it's been really interesting to work through his life and see how his art has changed over time. Part of the museum is about Van Gogh leaving in 1888 to go somewhere else in France. And it's like a sights and sounds kind of thing. We're just wandering through this maze of different displays and it's talking about his time as he moved. Talks about his mental breakdowns. We finished the Van Gogh Museum. It was really interesting just learning about his life and his art. Um, 
and it's changing styles yeah. through time. And that was the biggest thing I got out of it was just the amount of changes, like I said, in a museum. Yeah, he experimented a lot, which was really cool. I like that. Yeah. So it cost, you said about 20 like euros that. a person. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, not too bad. We spent mm -hmm. about an hour and a half, maybe two hours in there. There was some yeah. side um, exhibits. Yeah, side something. exhibits that we went and saw that were somewhat interesting. <laughs> um, like the one that I was kind of talking about in there, which was the Van Gogh Dreams. Yeah, kind of scary, honestly. Yeah. I really like that, but it's okay. But he was a very <laughs> mentally ill person towards the end of his life, so I think that's what they're trying to kind of convey with what was going on through his life mentally, which is kind of an interesting way of doing it, I guess. But anyways, so that was the Van Gogh Museum. Mm -hmm. Very neat. We saw that his famous Starry Night is actually in New York. So we didn't get to see something like that, but we just see tons of self-portraits and different arts. That was yeah, very impressive. In the sunflowers, there's a lot of his famous ones. Yeah. But now we're going to go find some dinner. And tonight's our last night in Amsterdam. Tomorrow we go to Schwerin, which is just outside of Hamburg. So we're going to go find some dinner. And I already smell marijuana <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> but so we're gonna go find some dinner and then we need to go pack later to get ready for our trip tomorrow, which will be kind of a lengthy train ride, but. Okay, sounds good. Promising it all. You never know what's around the next corner. You never, you never know what's around the next corner. So once again, we got groceries that were taken back to our house. They had. You know, sushi and sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. So we got um, snacks to take for dinner, for breakfast, and for on the train tomorrow. So we are gonna be good to go for the next few meals. And it's all like only for 25, 26 euros, I think, for all of those meals um, and snacks and stuff. And we got extra things like chocolates. We get a lot of chocolates while we're here in Europe. But we're kind of sad to see uh, Amsterdam go, I think, or see us leave Amsterdam just because we love walking around and seeing all the beautiful architecture and everything and the, just the kind of younger vibe of the city. We're really excited about Schwerin, so for Schwerin, I don't know. It'll be interesting because it's a smaller town. It'll be very different. 